Hello, this is Mr. Montgomery, and this video is for my Physical Science 1 lab students. Today, what we're looking at is free fall or acceleration due to gravity. It's going to be dropping an object, measuring its acceleration. We're going to figure out its acceleration by watching how its displacement changes over time and how its velocity changes over time. All right, so let me get it all set up and I'll show you how it's going to work. Everything's set up. First of all, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and print yourself your lab handout so you better fill in the information as we're going here. All right, but this is going to use a lab quest. This lab quest right here is going to analyze and collect all of our data for us. But it's talking right now, talking to this photo gate up here. This photo gate's hanging off of my support stand. Down here in the bottom, just have a nice you know, piece of foam and this picket fence. So this is just a clear piece of plastic with some black stripes painted on it. But this picket fence is gonna fall through our photo gate. And the photo gate, if I can turn my camera where I want it, this photo gate sends a signal from one side to the other side over here. And as it does that, and my camera just goes crazy, okay, as it does that, then um, it's going to know when something gets in here and interrupts this signal, when something goes from one, blocks the signal from one side to the other. So the lab quest already knows how wide these stripes are. And so based off the width of these stripes, it's going to measure how much time is the signal blocked, then how much time do we receive the signal and it's blocked and received and so on and so forth. So that what it's going to do is produce two graphs for us and it's going to give us a graph right here with the distance versus time on the top graph of the red line distance versus time and the bottom blue graph the velocity versus time so i went ahead and i dropped that get that um, picket fence through there once and this is what it's giving me now on your handout you'll notice it wants you to sketch you know what those two graphs kind of look like in the first place sketch a position time graph sketch a velocity time graph. You don't have to worry about the numbers on here. What I'm looking for more so is you know kind of the shape of this graph that this displacement graph has a little bit of curve to it. It's got a little curve to it because as that picket fence falls it falls more distance than it did the moment before. So the distance becomes greater and greater. The velocity here is constantly increasing. Okay, so let's get set up and we're going to do our six trials right here that we want to run for this experiment. We're ready now to do trial number one. So I'm going to take my lab quest. I'm going to tell it that I want to collect some data. So there's a little collect button, a little play button right here. And then you see these little wheels start to spin. It means it's just waiting on, waiting on me right here. So I set this down. I'm gonna grab my picket fence, I'm gonna hold it up here, I'm gonna release it, okay. it falls right down through my photo gate. Now, that's gonna produce this graph, same basic shape as the ones I showed you just a minute ago. Okay. What we wanna do now is we want to look at this velocity time graph. Okay. So I'm gonna analyze, I'm gonna curve fit, I wanna look at the velocity graph. And it already fits this equation to my line. You see this black line fits right on top of my blue line. And what I'm looking for is this slope right here. Okay, this slope, 9.6655. That is equal to my acceleration because the slope on this graph would be the change in velocity divided by the change in time. The rise over run would be change in velocity over change in time. So 9.6655, you're gonna record that as trial number one, okay? And then we're gonna do the same type of thing, trial number two. So I'm gonna collect some more data right here. I'm gonna hold this up high. I'm gonna drop it right down through the middle. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna analyze, curve fit, I care about the velocity graph. This time we get a slope of 9.6948. 9.6948, that was trial number two. 
All right. I'm going to get ready to do it again for trial number three. Drop it right down through there. All right. Again, very similar looking graph. That's good. Consistency is what we want. All right. This time we got a slope 9.7354. 9.7354. 9.7354. Five, four. That was trial number three. Three more to go. All right, hit OK. Start collecting new data. Drop right through there. Let's analyze my data again. This is trial number four. Got 9.7313. 9.7313. Again, M right there, that's the um, letter we're using to represent the slope of the line. But the slope is the acceleration. That was trial four. Two more of these we want to do. Drop. Out of my data. I'm going to analyze that data. I'm sorry, there's probably a terrible glare sometimes on this screen from the lights over my head here all right but 9.7575 9.7575 all right and then one more trial to go everything restarted and drop and I analyze curve fit velocity 9.7948, 9 9.7948, 9 okay? Now, back here on your data table again, so you would have just filled in these six trials. Out of those six, you know, what's the, what's the smallest, what's the largest? Add all six of them together to get the average of all six of them. And then you're coming down here answering some questions. Um, here you're making some calculations on number three. Um, when you do number three, just go ahead and let's use 9.8 meters per second squared as your acceleration due to gravity. That's the accepted value. Now a lot of times in, in class with your particular textbook, it'll get rounded up to 10 meters per second squared. And that just makes the math a little bit simpler. So if you use 10 meters per second squared, that's fine also. Um, and then question number five, same type of thing. If you drop an object and it falls for a certain amount of time, how far would that object fall in that time frame? I hope you were able to understand what was going on in that experiment as we dropped that picket fence down through that photo gate, measuring its displacement so that we could look at its velocity, and then using that velocity to study the acceleration due to gravity. A lot fancier way of doing it than what Galileo um, had at his disposal during his day. Um, but if you need any help, get stuck on any questions, feel free, y'all reach out, contact me, and y'all have a great day.